The team's findings published in Science this week. Huh? You can publish in Science? I did not know that. Show that this unexpected change in wind direction was caused by atmospheric waves in the northern hemisphere. Okay, did I read that too over dramatically that didn't sink in properly? The team's findings published in Science this week show that this unexpected change in wind direction was caused by atmospheric waves in the northern hemisphere. My, my, my. Outer space. Pushing in on inner space. Everybody's got to learn to dance. All right, here we go. We've got a video message. I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Today we have a... All right, happy Monday, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta put my serious face on because we're gonna talk about serious stuff. I'm at Space Daily. You're talking about atmospheric behavior disrupts one of Earth's most regular climate cycles. Now, I don't give a shit what you believe about climate change or what's changing the weather or what's messing up the jet stream or what's causing freak occurrences in freak places. Things are weird. We ain't got time to jawbone and bark about the ticky-tacky opinions of the uninformed because nobody knows right now. It does seem it's a collection of a lot of things. Anyway, what I was saying was the normal flow of air high up in the atmosphere over the equator, known as the quasi-biennial oscillation, was seen to break down earlier this year. These stratospheric winds are found high up above the tropics. Their direction and strength changes in a regular two to three year cycle, which provides forecasters with an indication of the weather to expect in northern Europe. Westerly winds are known to increase the chance of warm and wet conditions. Wait, what was that? That sounded important. Let me read that one. Westerly winds are known to increase the chance of warm and wet conditions. All right, Greg, got it. While easterlies bring drier and colder weather. Then there's a chart. Wow. Okay. And I'll pull up some own images of the jet stream of the strato bilineal quasi thing. Give me a second. <laughs> Man, I'm out of shape. Maybe it's because the bilineal quasi is broken. My lungs are not oscillating properly. Scientists from NCAS at the University of Oxford and the Met Office were part of an international team that observed the unusual behavior in February. Wait, February was acting funny? Noticing a reversal of the expected pattern in the winds. Man, I screwed that sentence up. The same team then identified the reason why. Well, wonderful. Never mind. Figured it out. So let's find out. The quasi-biennial oscillation is a regular feature of the climate system. Whoa. Sweet. And it's high up in the Earth's bubble. Wonderful. And the bubble itself has many layers. It's a very complex thing. Or maybe it's simple. On average, these equatorial eastward and westward winds every 28 to 29 months. It's like two and a half years-ish. Making them very predictable in the long term. Here we go. And action. The team's findings published in Science this week. Huh? You can publish in Science? I did not know that. Show that this unexpected change in wind direction was caused by atmospheric waves in the northern hemisphere. Okay. Did I read that too over dramatically that didn't sink in properly? The team's findings published in Science this week show that this unexpected change in wind direction was caused by atmospheric waves in the northern hemisphere. My, my, my. Outer space. Pushing in on inner space. Everybody's got to learn to dance. All right. Here we go. Dr. Scott Osprey, an NCAS scientist at the University of Oxford, said the recent disruption in the quasi-bilineal oscillation was not predicted. Not even one month ahead. What? Not even one month ahead. The recent disruption in the quasi-bilineal... <sighs> I'm back. The recent disruption in the quasi-biennial oscillation was not predicted. Not even one month ahead. If we can get to the bottom of why the normal pattern was affected in this way, we could develop more confidence in our future seasonal forecasts. Wait, what is the important thing here? The quasi-biennial oscillation? The QBO? Or the future seasonal forecast? FSF. I'm going with it. QBO. G. Prof. Adam Schaefe. Head of the Long Range Forecasting at the Met Office and Honorary Visiting Professor at the University of Exeter. Said, This unexpected disruption to the climate system switches the cycling of the quasi-biennial oscillation forever. And, this is important, as it is one of the factors that will influence the coming winter. Winter is coming, people. And it's going to be weirder than ever. You heard it here at Science Daily. Anyway, now you know, I guess take the weird weather watch up one more notch. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Fight Club. And whoever brought the Kool-Aid, man, that shit tasted nasty. Let's improve that. Peace out. All right. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Let's all fix it with our minds and our hearts. All right. Deal with it. Wait. There were other people. Why should you be the only one involved? But I am involved. We are all involved. <laughs> 
Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents.